Well, you know, I've been scratching my head. I'm wondering about you, Stephen. I'm trying to filter out the words that were, you know, said with your arm behind your back and your fingers crossed or however you guys do it. Um, <clears throat> in your um, corporate barrister cults. I don't know because, you know, hidden. Yes means no, understand means comply under my wishes or whatever. Anyhow, it's all bastardization of the uh, of the code from which it was uh, plagiarized from, just like all your beliefs, ways, and utter nonsense. So, here you go, my friend. Okay, uh, I want to imitate you. Maybe somebody wants to <clears throat> dig through my playlist and, and get it here where you're given that infamous justification for uh, rehashing the marijuana wars or whatever you plagiarized out of the formula your bosses handed Ronald Reagan win back then. Uh, yeah, anyhow, so, you know, basically your just was is you were you were crumbing for special privileges to uh, all of the Canadians for permission to to rehash this total waste of human resources potential liberty and tax dollars and you wanted to you know we all know I won't get into the thing about how your real agenda was to bring in the privatized prison complex from the states as it's getting kicked out of there because it bankrupted them and destroyed their society <clears throat> in oligarch fashion or the new burgeoning and blundering perception of public peace and security complex Okay, I'm not even going to ram on about that because any of my need readers already know what, <clears throat> what your real agendas are. And they probably understand this. They probably say, what is it about that guy? Sometimes he's like a Prozac out robot and, and, and others he's like this and others he's like that. As though induced personality, you know, we joked about you being a robot like the Obamni down, uh, down south there. And <clears throat> getting an upgrade when the Chinese... Uh, PM or Emperor or whatever he is, Grand Corporate Puba of some form, come over and he rebooted you guys and, well, that was that. He was delivering his messages from his globalist masters that scammed China. <clears throat> we'll see how that goes, eh? <clears throat> With the brown shirts in the, in the secret cities, <clears throat> surrounded by angry Chinamen that still haven't forgotten the last thing that's you guys pulled on them or you tricked them into the uh, Chinese Cultural Revolution where they slaughtered all the, well, basically, you know, I won't use the term intelligentsia, but the professionals, <clears throat> the movers and shakers. Okay, so what I came up with was your pitiful, disgusting plea. That you were really concerned that you hadn't taught your sons well enough if I understood reading between your lines. And you were really concerned that your boys were going to get into some more marijuana or something like that. Or steal your neighbor's marijuana from his, his tomato garden out back. Or I don't know, you kind of clammed up halfway through spilling your beans and you know, pretending to be a real human being, and uh, and that was your justification for rehashing a six billion, six point six billion dollar uh, <clears throat> privatized prison complex slash get them medicinal cannibal cannabis users there, them them marawaki them them potheads, get them in the back of the bus. And the bus is going to privatize slave care, uh, pri pri not, uh, not slave care, pri prison, prison. <clears throat> so, um, so I mean, basically that's, that's, you know, the two halves. 
you know, hold on that one. You know, unfortunately, um, you know, I can't say I know exactly what being a biological father is. <clears throat> but I've taken care of many beings. I do have a certain form of a paternal instinct. Uh, I kind of understand how it splits you up, you know, when you're all doped up like that on stage, trying to remember the lines they gave you to say, and blah, blah, blah. And I know just how confusing it gets. Uh, you know, when you live in constant imbalance with the rest of your Canadians in inequality. You know, equality means fairness, balance. And you know, I don't know, maybe you did something really bad that when you were young and smoking pot at a party or something and somebody slipped some drinks, you know, that's that's how the mob works, right? Just ask uh, Rob Harrison. And you may or may not have done anything and, you know, just in case they may or may not have made a tape of that thing or whatever when you're all drugged and, and uh, you know, if that's uh, the case, you know, you're not alone because just about anyone that the uh, globalists led into power has been co-opted long before they get as far up the... Uh, the uh, <clears throat> imbalance, to authority, and accountability. Hmm. Yeah, the the imbalance. Okay, but you know, all that aside, um, because um, we can just deal with this medicinal cannabis thing once and for all. And as you know, it's gonna. <clears throat> take the backbone out of organized crime and uh, all their front corporations will collapse that have been competing unfairly and gobbing up the uh, the honest corporations uh, you know because they've got this steady stream of <clears throat> billions of dollars worth of grass money coming in the back door eh? and uh, you know we're gonna get rid of all that um, and we don't have to open up your Omni crime bill uh, you know, should you end up like Rob Harrison, uh, because I, it's quite clear, you, I mean, you could see it on his eyes. Holy fuck, okay, I know I didn't do any of this shit, or where I was acting, and now somebody's embellishing it. If they've done that, what else have I done, or, or, or have they made it look like I've done with some CGI, and, you know, that they're gonna use, and you, you could see it in Rob, uh, Mayor Rob's, uh, of Toronto there, in his, in his pitiful, disgusting, fat, gelatinous goo. Um, but, you know, that's how it is, right? First they get you, and then they get you to do a little favor back, you know? Like, set that precedence like he did for your <clears throat> perception of public safety and peace complex bill there. Uh, you know, well, you know, two billion dollars to the G6 or G7, G20 and for security and you know, two billion on the uh, Olympics and, or, oh no, wait a minute, wasn't that six billion when you include in the <coughs> the uh, <coughs> citizen suppression uh, <coughs> garb that you uh, reissued to you know, all kinds of agencies. <coughs> you know, with shit like all rad cannons and all kinds of internet stuff and you know says you could really make use of privatizing the Eshwan folk right down to you know whatever your local civil air authority your local dog catcher your local police pound I don't know what with every kind of thing and every kind of abortion contracted out to your buddies in Israel for the uh communications infrastructure and, which you know also includes you know the programs and all your military hardware and shit <clears throat> yeah I mean, but you all know this you know and so did previous ministers of defenses because at least I and who knows how many others said here you go here's the proof here's the evidence <clears throat> I resign <clears throat> so Simple solution, okay? You paying attention, switch on all your 
personalities and programming and, you know, whatever. If they got a got your communication chip, I imagine they do, <clears throat> to influence you in case of an emergency or whatever. And, you know, you can always beam that into someone. <clears throat> With woodpecker signals, pretty sophisticated these days. Just like in the old days, the emperor with his electromagnetic scepter there, or <laughs> relay device, and <laughs> yeah. So uh, you just gotta follow the law, um, and uh, you know do what Supreme Court should have done a long time ago, and they should have heard cases on. Um, well, this just simply does not uh, cannabis. Even the strongest GMO genetically modified uh, cannabis uh, that the DAA, DEA stuck into Canada back in the 80s, you know, even that is uh, not meeting the scientific criteria of a narcotic as is logically in comparison on the uh, this thing it's treated as, you know, and that's just, we won't get into how it's, you know, you're re restoring a cast system, with I guess the potheads at the bottom says, you know, because you harbor this deep down fucking hatred for them, because, because some sick Illuminati bastards or whatever poisoned your drink at a party when you were a kid, and they've been blackmailing you ever since, or... Or, uh, you know, or maybe there was an incident with your boys ripping off the, the neighbor's uh, ganja, f it's his herb from his tomato garden or whatever, or I don't know. That'll be for you to deal with, or them, or whoever. But uh, you don't bend over for blackmailers, uh, buddy. Yeah. Never. Yeah, you know that now. Um, we'll deal with it. You still have... Um, Canada still has an obligation to protect you, you know, whether you resign or, well, maybe not so if uh, the House is going to impeach you, but uh, you know, that's all you have to do, just that one little triangle out of the hexagon or whatever, that, that one little, and the whole thing collapses, so, you know, just, uh, there you go, the Minister of uh, Health. <clears throat> reschedules cannabis um, because it's not a narcotic it, it just it just simply isn't <clears throat> and the whole works collapses and um, you know let that be your second last act and then next you just, I, I, I understand you're resigning because uh, what's you know like what they're doing with the, the the Senate and stuff, and and I'm not saying the people doing that are the same ones, or are even controlled by the same ones that I presume control you. Uh, I mean, they do every other person that gets the power. Uh, you're all just puppets. Everybody knows that, uh, and, you know. And yet, we all nobody managed to do anything to to, to change it before now, I guess. And. Uh, Can't. All, all I can do is ask ask the hard questions if you can't. And that uh, I mean, I know you'll think you're doing what's best for yourself, but uh, I think doing the lawful and best thing for Canada is the best thing for Stephen. You know. We tried to stop you with stop signs and on tough love street telling it like it is and even finally the fake uh, opposition started standing up to you since uh, old Jack got whacked and um, nothing you know and now we're up to a whole new playlist here and you know and Stephen Harper I mean he didn't stop at the stop sign. But another uh, 
very admirable, uh, some may argue foolish, uh, young Canadian, um, you know, <laughs> brought you a stop sign right into the chamber there, just, you know, as her act of, hey, fuck, that's enough of this. I'm sure this is just my. I can't. I'll go in there one more fucking time. I'm not having anything to do with this scam. I've seen enough. Criminal city. I'm sure that's what was going through young uh, um, Miss DePage, Bridget DePage's uh, um, ethics. <coughs> so, spirit. Soul is genetics. So. Um, you know. Fuck, she marched right in there with a stop sign. Stop, Stephen Harper! And, uh, here, let's do that again. I'll put, uh, I'll put links on the stop sign now that it's turned, uh, white. <coughs> like a surrendering paddle. Um, okay. Good luck in, um, uh, your... Kamarachi Maru uh, decision there, Stephen. <sighs> I guess uh, I guess I'm off to Vesta for. Seem to be having a little problem with uh, one of the eggs there. You guys, did I catch it all? What do you mean don't put words in your mouth? <laughs> Crazy hominid, this has nothing to do with me. I don't care what you fucks do. You've already destroyed our earth. Yeah, you. By doing nothing. This is our earth. Canines were here a lot fucking longer than you fucks. Did I remind you it was dog kind that spared you? All the other animals said, fuck man, this crazy mutant beast. Eh, get it off. 8,000 years ago, and you know how your creators get things off. <laughs> <laughs>